After completing the diagnostics, we can calculate the mesh by clicking on the mesh button. Once the solver finishes meshing, the solver object will have the results available for viewing. Right click on the solver object and select visualize grid. The grid dataset has three different results or attributes. Area, which shows the area of each element of the finite element mesh. ID, which shows the ID of each domain. And index, which shows the material index inside the simulation region. Click on the index result to see the silicon waveguide inside the oxide cladding. We can go to the plot edit mode and choose to view the mesh along with the data. We are now ready to run the simulation. Run the solver by using the run button. The solver will first calculate the mesh and then calculate the optical modes. Once the simulation finishes, the solver object will have all the available results for viewing. Right click on the solver object and select visualize mode properties. The visualizer window will show the effective index of the first 20 optical modes. Note that the same dataset reports the propagation loss of the optical modes as well. We can see that for the passive waveguide, the propagation loss is zero for all the optical modes. Next, we can right click on the solver object and visualize the field's result. The result has three attributes, E and H showing the electric and magnetic field profiles of the optical modes and S showing the pointing vector for the optical modes. All the attributes are vector quantities and the x, y, and z components can be viewed along with the magnitude. We can scroll through the mode number parameter at the bottom of the window to view the field profiles of each optical mode. For example, we can see that the first mode is the fundamental TE mode and the second mode is the fundamental TM mode of the strip waveguide.